James Savalski for EA Sports. The Flames started in Atlanta and made their way here to Calgary and created one of the most passionate rabbit fan bases in the game. The officials there at center, and I think we are about to get this one underway. The Flames start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. What a steal in his own end. Oh, textbook poke check to turn that over. Takes the feed at center and moves forward. Oh, just a great heads-up play by Weger. Inside the offensive zone. Shot! Oh, what a save in front! Grazik's made him set look big on oh, Slow is not quick enough for you! Yeah, that's quick. You want to dictate pace, especially when the puck drops. If you want it early, that's the best way to get it done. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Calgary's on the board. The crowd's loving it. I even think the coach is smiling on the bench, too. That's always a good thing when you look back at your coach and they're smiling because it doesn't happen often, James. But one thing that does get a smile is a great start because they now know that you were ready right from puck drop, not from just a physical standpoint. He scores! Oh, wow, what a play! Well, he uses his speed to break away from his opponent and then reads exactly what the goaltender is giving him to be able to convert. What a beautiful play. Man, is he ever flying, James? It looks like everyone else is in quicksand, and he is moving. He gets on his horse. He's in all alone, one-on-one -on -one with the goaltender. He doesn't freak out. He doesn't panic. Shows a ton of confidence and lets that shot rip. We're still in the early stages of this period. We are all tied up in this one. Chicago's come up with possession after that neutral zone draw. Sends a pass over. And he loses control of the puck. Just a great defensive read there. Calgary's got the puck against the half wall. Denied by Morazic. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. Moves it to Uyghur. Kadri's exploring options with the puck. Quick feed to Sari. They go on the attack through center. The Blackhawks play it along the wing. And that's off a stick. Oh, and just skips over the net. What a chance there, Powder. Uh, he was in tight, but he wasn't able to convert. You can just see those hands close to his body. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. Centers glide into the dot as a face-off ready to resume play. And play resumes as the puck is dropped. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Chicago's got control of the puck. Taken by Murphy. The Blackhawks will play it in their own end. Puck moved over to Perry. Shot! Great save by Markstrom. Slides the pass over to Pospisil. Here's a collision with some authority. Slides it to Pospisil. Calgary's got it in the offensive zone. And the puck clears the zone. They'll be forced to leave as well. Puck picked up by Johnson. They put the puck into the offensive end. The Flames move the puck in the defensive zone. Huberto's got it along the wing. Takes the puck. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit. And a nice save there as play continues. Past the halfway mark of this period, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. The Blackhawks win the draw on their own end. Dishes it to Johnson. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Markstrom. Carrying the puck deep inside his own end. They've got the defense outnumbered. Good reach and a stick to knock the puck away. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Jones will look to hold things down defensively, but don't be surprised if he joins in 
on the rush. Lindholm's a big name for this club, and they rely on him to generate offense. One of these players is going to help give their team the upper hand tonight. Guys, back to you. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. The Blackhawks don't like it, but they'll serve two in the penalty box. tonight at their power play unit. First opportunity on the power play in this game. The specialty teams are the difference so many times in a game. Huge for them to set the tone and really get the setup and the looks they're looking for. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Looking to break out here on the power play. Slides it across to Huberto. Quick shot! Oh, how did he keep it out? What a Here's a howitzer at the net, and that goes wide. Sometimes when you're on the point, you can have a little more time than you think, and that's what I thought happens here is he just gets up and under the puck, and it goes over the net. And now he moves it quickly to Kadri. Chicago's got it in their own zone. Puck cleared from the defensive end. And now it's grabbed by Dickinson. Great heads up play with the stick by Hannafin. Pushes it across to Kadri. Donato's penalty is almost expired. And a solid save on the play there. The goaltenders have the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. The Blackhawks win the draw. Beats the puck over. the horn for period number one as it comes to an end we've got lots more action two more thirds of this one to go stay with us a chance for both teams to refuel they are back on the ice and period number two is about set to go well let's see who comes out hungrier here in this second as we are still tied well Cheryl how do you sum this one up for the first 20 minutes I'd like to call this a quiet shot, James. What that means is the goaltender can't see it. So he's listening for it, and it buzzes right by him because he cannot catch up to it, can't find it with his eyes, and can't find it with his body. The Flames, through their hard work and tenacity, have taken a one-goal lead here in the second. It's certainly better to play with the lead, James, but you know that there's a lot of one-way left, and your opponent is going to come pushing and pressing. This game has been tight all the way around, and I expect that it will continue to be. Puck grab by Uyghur. Here's a short pass to Mangiapane. Gets the full use of his stick on the poke check. Came up with a nice save. Does a great job with some great pushes to get to the top of his crease and make the save from a high danger area. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Calgary's got the momentum with a one goal lead. They'd love to add to that. And he takes the pass. The Flames have put a lot of pucks on net, and they continue to lead here early in the second. Lindholm's won the draw. Oh, he got a little sliver of it, and it stays out. Mrazic dialed in and able to redirect that puck to the corner. Musa quickly over to Jones. Vlasic's got it in the defensive end. Look out, here they come on the attack. Knocked away. Cuts to the front, and that's broken up. The Flames take it along the wing. Solid hit on the play, and that knocks the puck off his stick. The Blackhawks carry it along the wall. Quick pass to Bedard. Tip shot in front. Great save by the goaltender, who was in the right place at the right time. Fires it on net. Oh, he kind of struggled with that one, but he got just enough to keep it out. 
The Flames continue to lead in the second. They have been the busier team in the shot department, and as a result, they lead. Chicago's won the defensive zone draw. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Moves it to Hall. Oh, he just got enough of that to keep it out. Takes a shot. Beautiful glove stop on that one. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Nearing the midway mark of the period, it's a 2-1 hockey game. Picked up along the boards by Tanev. And he's knocked off the puck there. Puck scooped up by Hannafin. And he slides it quickly to Tanev. On the attack into the offensive and right up the gut. Quick feed to Sari. Pays it out from the point. The Blackhawks gain control of it. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a short pass to Reichel. Oh, and he just got enough of that to keep it out. He says, let's get physical on that play. No, they didn't like that, and here we go. They're going to fight. I didn't like it because it was a dangerous play, James, and you got a player down as a result, and of course you got to respond, and it results in dropping the mitts. Well, a spirited scrap comes to an end with the takedown. I think he might be relieved as they head to the ice as he was taking a thrashing. <laughs> yeah, I think you're right. Not difficult to see who won that fight. The W goes the road team all the way. All right, both teams back at the face-off circle after the dust finally settles on that Donnybrook. The Flames start with the puck in their own end. Moves it quickly over to Huberto. The Blackhawks gain possession along the wall. Tries to get the puck over to Johnson. Quick pass to Perry. Takes a shot. Denied by the goaltender. The Flames have it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Zadora. Poked away at center by Johnson. Taken by Zadora. With possession along the wall. Love save! All oh, quick reflexes on the play. The Blackhawks take it across the blue line. No quarter given here as they battle for the loose puck along the boards. Grabbed along the boards by Dickinson. He grabs the puck here at the point. Moves it to Johnson. And that's off a stick. The Flames have it now. From the left side, they gain the zone. Quick pass across to Polino. The Flames look to start the transition game. Here's a shot. Big save just as time runs out. Calgary's been putting lots of pucks on net all night long, and they lead it here late in the second. 40 minutes to play in the books. Both teams will get one last chance to catch their breaths, and then it's on to period number three next. Don't forget, fans, if you're here with somebody celebrating a birthday tonight, go to our guest services booth, and they'll see their name up on our big screen before the end of the game. Welcome back. James Sabalski ready to bring you all the play-by-play. -play. There we go. Puck is dropped, and now the clock is ticking on the third period here. Well, with two periods played, Pounder, your thoughts? Chicago's got to be better in the third period, no question about it. They've got to be more aggressive on the puck, and they've got to attack the lanes when they get the opportunity. They've had very few shots on net, and they're fortunate this is a close game. If they want to get back in it, they've got to get into the offensive zone. They've got to get net front presence, and they have to shoot at all costs. Sends the pass over. From the point, they take control of it. Stopped by the goaltender, getting a piece of that one. And the shot dies in the traffic jam. Quick feed to Bedard. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after all that chaos. Well, and this is a much-needed reset for his team after some sustained ozone pressure by the opponent. 
The Flames have put a lot of pucks on net, and as a result, they lead it early in this third period. Chicago's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame. It's a 2-1 game. Rifles won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Takes control of the puck. Handles the pass. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Locks him. Pokes it away here in the neutral zone. Takes the puck at the point. Good heads up defensive play as he extends the stick. Chicago's in on the offensive attack now. Silvering feed! What a play! We get to the shot off the most coveted area on the ice, right in front of the paint. Doesn't allow the goalie to get set up and puts it home. Chicago's got the tying goal, and now can they find that go-ahead goal, Cheryl? If they continue the momentum, they certainly can. They look like they're playing free, so they're moving their feet. They're being creative, and they're attacking. They're looking to win this game, not just keep it at evens. Here's a chance in front. And a good use of the body to knock the puck loose. The Flames have it now. Tremendous use of the body on the play. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Huberto. Well, this game looks like it's going right down to the wire, James. And one of the most important things to do now is make sure you make good blue line decisions. With the stop. Morazic's got it and will hang on for the whistle. Well, he's been so dialed in all game, playing confident and controlled in the crease. Here in the back half of this period, we got a tie game. Calgary's got it, and they're on the attack. And that goes off a of body. And that's knocked away by Dickinson. And he came up with a solid... Oh, a save on the play! Wow! Oh, that's great larceny, James. I mean, he just stole one away from his opponent. What a save. Here's a short pass to Perry. The Flames get a hold of the puck in their own end. Moves it over to Mangiapane. And he takes the dish. Mrazic's last save was outstanding, James. I mean, it's a valiant effort. That's what gets it done. It's beyond the skill to be able to make a save. It is the will and the compete level that energizes everyone around him. Carlin Bay is standing by with who had the better night. Lindholm is a great player when he gets engaged, and he has been that tonight with the offensive side of his game. I've been impressed with his performance. Picked up along the wall by Jones. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. And that's not the way. Here's a chance. Nearing the final minute of regulation. On the back end. Stopped by the goaltender. In front and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. A lot on the line here in this offensive zone faceoff. The Flames take possession off the faceoff. Blocked in front. The Blackhawks move it ahead. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Passes the puck over to Kadri. Calgary's got it along the wall. Here's a chance to the middle. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. There's the whistle. Let's get the call from the officials. The Blackhawks will serve two for slashing. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. A chance! Oh, how did he stop that? What a save by Morazic! 
Well, we played three periods of regulation hockey and still no winner. So what do we do? We go to overtime. It's sudden death style. Will there be a hero? We'll find out next. Hey, fans, don't forget to enter tonight for our team. OT should tell us who wins and who loses. And they're ready to get it underway. Calgary's won the opening faceoff as their power play continues. Puck picked up by Lindholm. Both sides digging in for that puck along the wall. Trying to clear. Clears the zone and they needed that. It's such a great play, James. I mean, at this time of the game, you have to find a way to get the puck out. You're under a lot of pressure. You gotta be aware of everyone and where they are on the ice and you get the clear. Great play. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. Slides it up front. Fast and quick, lead pass. Shot, and saved by Morazic. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Backlund's won the draw there on the attack. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. It whistles ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. And they win the offensive zone faceoff, and here we go. Denies the shooter on that play. Calgary's going to be hard-pressed to find better opportunities to win it than that as they come up empty-handed with the power play. I'd say they got it done, James. Back on their heels on a PK, and they find away they get in the shooting lanes and they take care of business momentum might change a big face off here inside the offensive end and they win the draw in their own end sudden death and nearing a minute to go here angles it over to Huberto off the left wing and into center the Blackhawks have it from their own end. And that's poked away by Huberto. Calgary's got the puck. Moves it quickly over to Huberto.